It's another beautiful day in Ghana, West Africa. I am Brandon, and today we are back out at Joe's Earthworks site. Today I'm checking in on the progress. We wanted to let some time go by so that they could get up to their next big level, and that level is this door height, otherwise known as lentil level. So the building is now officially up to lentil level all around. We are currently on the front veranda and uh, this is wonderful. So uh, real quick, let me first let Joe come in. Joe, it's a pleasure to be back at your site. Uh, how are things going on the site? We see the progress and uh, they haven't got to see it yet, but stay tuned. I'm going to show you all around. But Joe, again, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. And uh, Ayako. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks too for coming too. Uh, it's not easy. It's not easy at all, you know. Uh, working with uh, eight, uh, like it's not easy. Sometimes you need to pass through a lot for you to get what you want. Uh, as we started, I was not even thinking like we'll be getting to this stage now. Uh, so far, you've gotten to the stage, and this is another stage that I've been waiting for. This is where most of the uh, ram eight or the builders get it difficult uh, to do. But with eight works, we are going to prove to them that we are the best so far. Uh, you are the best among the best. Let me say it that way. I don't want to get any problem. <laughs> For now, we are just at the lantern. And before you came here, was empty. Yeah. The veranda was empty. Now you've covered the whole place. So we are just at the lantern now. From next week, and everything will be bomb. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, so Joe, I, I saw, we're going to touch on this just a little bit. I did see on Facebook, people had a lot of questions about a lot of different things. Your earth tiles came up, which uh, stay tuned. I'm going to go and show you the earthen wall tiles that Joe is using for the foundation of the building. Then also there were some issues with a few places where there were some chips and some stuff like that. I'd like to talk about the process in either patching or how do you resolve the few blemishes or imperfections that you get sometimes from the form work or other things. Oh, okay. You see, this kind of form work, uh, you have to fix everything by your side, yourself. And it's not like the block where you're going to put level, any block that you put on, you have to put level. But no. And one thing about RAM, eh, too, the more that you keep ramming, the more that the form work keeps shifting. Mm -hmm. So it's not that you are going to get everything 100%. Like the block work, sometimes some are crooked, but like with this patching, everything will be fixed. Let's say after the roofing, we are going to make sure we fix everything. So I can't give you what I'm going to use, but <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want your trade secret. That's all right. But again, I, what I'm hearing is the goal is to get up to roofing level. Um, and I know that as a mud builder because, one, the rains. The rains are coming, and you want to be protected. Um, and so that's what's happening here. They're rushing to get the now the gables. The next step is the lentil and the gables so that then they can get the roofers out here to get the roof. But overall, Joe, it's still looking very, very good. The design is looking good. I can now see how, you know, some of this rammed earth that has been here for a long time is really, really drying, and you can see the real colors. Yeah. So, uh, yes, it's, it's looking really, really good. So thank you for having us. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around, so follow around, and uh, we're going to walk through the building so uh just yeah go ahead and comment what you see if you have any questions go ahead and comment while we're walking through the space let us know what you think questions comments concerns all of the above we appreciate your engagement in this process and again it's another beautiful day in ghana west africa we are here out in dodoa and we are at joe's earthworks site and it is a wonder ayako
Alrighty, Joe, uh, show me, tell me what's going on over here. I see where this is the sample wall. And uh, last I saw you posting on Facebook about some earthen tiles. So go ahead and uh, let us know what, what, what are we looking at here? Oh, welcome again uh, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, this is a sample that we rammed uh, and we decided to mold our tiles and this is called wall tiles. This is what we did with normal wood with one of my colleagues and we said no. Let's press it because first we have pressed it on a normal block and it has been there for like five years. Mm -hmm. And we decided to know, press it on a sample ram for us to see how strong and how like the tiles and the ram sample can match or how strong it can hold the sample for us to see. So this is a sample of uh, eight tiles. Everything is made with eight just that you've applied a normal color for it to look different. But everything is made with tars. And this is eight tars that we've molded and uh, sample made now for us to see how it can. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. And it, and it does give it a nice texture. So now I, I understand you were sharing that at the base of the building, uh, where we have a traditional block foundation, these tiles are going to come and cover that uh, block foundation and then maybe just a small portion of the earthen wall at the base, which is like the foundation. So that essentially uh, we will have a very, very beautiful design foundation. I love it. It's, it's definitely creative. And uh, I like that you've used your creativity on this. Wonderful. So these are Joe's earthen tiles, and, uh, and this is just one of many options. Hey guys, I want to talk about a very, very uh, interesting point about rammed earth walls. Uh, we've gotten a lot of questions. Of course, the number one question is always about cost. It's about cost. Is it cheaper? How much does it cost? Uh, why is it not cheaper? One person commented that, but it's earth and there's earth everywhere. And, um, you know, in a concrete block, a sandcrete block is made out of, of, of either sand or quarry dust. And that's also everywhere. So again, take a look at this right here. What you're looking at is two ordinary blocks side by side. Now these are quarry stone blocks. That means that they were made with quarry dust. That's granite chippings that were ground down and then it's stabilized with cement. So this is what we consider a concrete block. These blocks are either made with this quarry stone, which is the same material that gives us the gray color in the rammed earth walls, or they're made with ordinary sand. Uh, and that's why they'll be called sand creep. But the thing that I want to highlight today is, look at this. Our wall is twice as thick as the ordinary block. So again, these walls, they're twice as thick. That's twice as much material. That's twice the thermal massing. That's twice the strength. So again, it's also twice the size. So when you're looking at square footage, your foundation has to be bigger because your walls are thicker. So again, this wall is stronger, thicker, better. And it, it, at times it does translate to costing more because again, if somebody was laying these blocks for your walls, they will finish this job in three days. Three days at most, all these walls would have been to lintel level. Whereas Joe and his team has been out here for weeks because you have to build the specialized formwork. You can see it behind me. You've got to ram it. You've got to take it down. You've got to rebuild it. And so it takes a lot of time and labor. And by the time they finish, all the formwork is going to be discarded because you're not going to be able to use it anywhere else. So again, that's going to be waste. Whereas those are things that you don't have to purchase when you're building an ordinary concrete block. So again, our goal is always going to be to give you the best overall product. And that's why I say, please don't look at how much it costs. 
Think about it as in how much do I need to invest in my home to have a quality home that's going to perform well. Our walls are twice as thick as the conventional block. So yeah, guys, Joe and Rammed Earth, they're on it. And uh, they're pushing forward. You heard it from him first person. Uh, it's, 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 it's challenging. You know, I don't like to say things are hard or easy because all things are challenging. How you see that challenge is left up to you and your perception of what you're facing. So the, the higher you go, the more challenging it gets with rammed earth. You're standing, imagine it now, you're standing up on this wall and you're ramming. You're pounding, you gotta watch your balance, you gotta do everything, and, uh, and you still have got to pound it and make sure that it has the precision that it needs to give you a good, strong wall. So again, guys, I hope you uh, like this update. I hope the footage is helpful. We're gonna, again, continue to follow this and we're gonna look at all of it, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that we can investigate and figure out how best to solve any challenges that Joe or any other builders may be facing. So again, please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, engage with us, let us know your thoughts, and we truly do appreciate you. I am Brandon, and I'm reporting live on the ground from Dodoa in Ghana, West Africa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh,